These are the parts that you will find in your box. Pump chamber, waterfall, waterfall lid, riverbed, riverbed extension, filter box, submersible pump, rubber spacers, reptofilter medium cartridges. Place the pump chamber in the selected corner. Then place the outlet on the pump and then attach it to the waterfall unit and plug it in the water pump. Insert the filtration box sideways into the tank and place it at the bottom of the tank. Turn it so the rock wall is facing the water section. Replace the waterfall lid. Now turn the filtration box to correctly position it in the tank. Position the riverbed section between the pump chamber and the double chambered filtration box. If you decide to have a larger land area, add the riverbed extension. Align posts on both ends. Remove the filter cartridges from the packaging. Rinse each cartridge with cold tap water to remove carbon dust. Place them into the slot of each chamber. Push the cartridge until it hits the bottom. Because aquariums differ in width depending on the manufacturer, spacers are provided to ensure a snug fit for the filtration box. Replace lids to close the chamber. Then fill the land portion with wash, coarse, pea-sized or larger gravel up to about one quarter inch from the top of the filtration box and the top of the walls of the riverbed. Now you can cover the gravel with dried moss. Most plants will thrive with their roots submerged. Shake off any soil and plant directly into the gravel. Fill the tank with tap water using the min and max water level lines marked on the outer sides of the pump chamber. Make sure to include a drip loop. Use AquaSafe or AquaSafe for reptiles to treat the water before adding animals.